Hello and welcome to the Mule Byte series presented by the Center of Excellence team at Royal Cyber. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate OAuth 2.0 access token enforcement using Mule OAuth provider. Let's take a look at the agenda for this video, where we'll see how to create an application in MuleSoft as OAuth provider, how to enforce Mule OAuth provider policy in MuleSoft using API Manager, how to generate and validate an access token using REST client Postman, and in the end, we will demonstrate the integration. We first need to create an application in MuleSoft as OAuth provider. After that, we will go to Exchange and download the OAuth provider module and object store connector for storing the token and clients. Next, we will go to the global elements, where we will create two object stores and configure the OAuth provider. Next, we will generate flows. The first is HTTP listener, with create client module for creating clients. And the second is validation of the token. Then after creating the project, we will export it as a jar file. After exporting the project, we will deploy the Mule OAuth provider project into the Cloud Hub. Now we look into the enforce Mule OAuth provider policy in MuleSoft using API Manager. And then we will go to the active API version. Here, we will go to apply the new policy and configure OAuth 2.0 access token enforcement using Mule OAuth provider. In the OAuth policy, we will set access token validation endpoint URI and then apply the policy. After applying OAuth 2.0 access token policy, we will copy the REML contents from the API specification and paste it into the REML specification. Let's now move on to the demo and see how this works. We first need to create a new project that's a Mule project in AnyPoint Studio. After that, we will download the dependencies and click Search in Exchange. Search OAuth Provider Module, then select an Add, and then search for Object Store Connector. We need to select and add that too. After that, we click on Finish. Since I've already downloaded these dependencies, so I will cancel. Now let's see Global Configuration. In global configuration, we need to create two object stores, one for storing clients and the other one for storing tokens. Next, we have to configure OAuth provider. To do so, we need to configure HTTP listener with default settings and select client store. Then we set client credentials. And for token configuration, we will select edit inline and the define the path as slash token and for token store, we will select token OS. Next, click OK. Since I've already configured OAuth, so I will click cancel for now. We will now move on to the message flow. First, we will have the HTTP listener, set path as cri create client. Now we have to configure the create client module. For that, drag the create client module from the mule palette and drop it into the flow. Next, Go to Settings and then Client ID. From here, we will get the Client ID, which is attributes.headers.client underscore ID. Next, select Confidentials. Under Secret, we will add attributes.headers.client underscore secret. And under Name, we will add attributes.headers.client underscore name. Set the description, the principle, in Redirect URIs, you can define the redirect URL into array. For now, I will just add abc.com. For grant type, I will allow client credentials. In scope, we will keep fail if present. Now the other thing set payload. Value is client created. Next, we want to generate token validate flow. For that, we need one more HTTP listener so set the path as slash validate and drag validate token module from mule palette. Leave the settings as default and drag the transform message module from the mule palette. Set payload year and JSON. Next, let's deploy this mule OAuth provider into the Cloud Hub. For that, let me export. We then click next and then finish and now come to the Runtime Manager. For that, let's log into the AnyPoint platform, click on Main Menu, 
select Runtime Manager and click Deploy Application. Select the application name, choose the file and hit Deploy Application. Since I've already deployed it, so I will leave this page and once the application is deployed, it will be listed in the applications. Then select Mule OAuth Provider, copy the domain name and select API Manager. Click on version 1, select the policies, apply a new policy and select OAuth 2.0 Access Token Enforcement using Mule OAuth Provider. Select the latest version and configure the policy. Now I've already created it, so I will cancel and edit the policy. In Access Token Validation Endpoint URL, write HTTP forward slash, paste the domain name and slash validate. If you wish, you can validate client ID in the same step by specifying client ID expression in the field. Now, since I've already applied this policy, so I will cancel the operation for now. You can now go back and check the policy configuration by clicking view details. The next step is to update the RAML specs of this API. For that, click API specification snippet. This is API specification snippet for the OAuth validation. Copy the traits from here and close the dialog box. Click main menu and select design center. Then click Mule Application API Specification. Paste the traits under the title. Then define OAuth condition and publish API to Exchange. After that, go to Postman. Set post request in the URL. Paste the domain name slash create client. Set headers, client ID, client secret and client name and send the request. The client has been created. Let's generate a token in another tab, set post request in the URL paste domain name slash token, set headers, client ID, client secret, and grant type. Grant type should be client underscore credentials and send the request. We can see here in the response, access token is generated. Copy the access token and go to another tab. Send API request. And the result is, access token was not provided. Now in the authorization, select OAuth 2.0, paste the access token and send the request again. Here we can see the status is 200 and results have appeared here. And that brings us to the end of today's topic. Thank you for watching this episode of Mule Byte series. If you have any questions or need any help in implementing this in your project, Drop us an email at info at royalcyber.com and we would be happy to help. Also, do let us know what topic you would like us to cover in the upcoming episodes through the comment section down below. Finally, hit the bell icon to subscribe to the channel to get more such exciting videos directly in your inbox if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for watching and stay safe.